Na msodakt mpenzi mtazamaji karibu kwenye taarifa za mbiu weekend tarehe ni mosi mwezi wa pili mwaka na ishirini ambapo hii leo mpenzi mtazamaji cheche za kisiasa tunazelekeza katika kaunti ya Kitui ambapo mkutano wa nne wa BBI ulikuwa unaendelea katika kaunti hiyo mpenzi mtazamaji ni mkutano ambao ulivutia sana viongozi kutoka majimbo tofauti ya humu nchini na vile vile nahodha mkuu akiwa ni gavana chari tingilu. Karibu kwa taarifa tulizo kuandalia langu jina ni Frida Mwaka na moja kwa moja mpenzi mtazamaji tuangazie mkutano wa BBI wanne ambao umefanyika leo katika kaunti ya Kitui na kuvutia hadhira kubwa kati ya waliohudhuria hafla hiyo ambao ni mwenyeji wake alikuwa ni gavana Chari Tingilu ni pamoja na kiongozi wa ODM Raila Odinga ambaye alikuwa mgeni wa heshima. Raila amesema kuwa madhumuni ya BBI ni ya kuwaleta wa Kenya pamoja ambao baadhi wame tengamana vibaya kwa misingi ya kikabila naye Kalonzo Musyoka akasema kuwa BBI haitakiwi kutumika kuwatenganisha kwa Kenya yako hapa kutoka Kitui Makofi mazuri zawadi hiyo kutoka Gatuzi la Kitui Thank you very much for your kindness Na basi mpenzi mtazamaji naye katibu mkuu wa vyama vya wafanyikazi Francis Atoli amesema kuwa BBI itawafaa wafanyikazi na wakenya kwa jumla. Amesema sheria kuhusu tume ya mishahara nchini inatakiwa kudhibitiwa na bunge kwa sababu inatumia mamlaka yake vibaya. Mwisho tulisema na watu wasiogope kusema hii. Watu wengine ambao wanataka mileage kwa ajili ya BBI wanadanganya watu wanaambia hawa wanasema tu mambo ya position hawa wanasema ukubwa peke yake hawasemi mambo ya mtu mdogo mtu mdogo uongozi wa juu ukiwa mbaya hata hapa chini utakuwa mbaya hawataki muongee mambo ya corruption corruption ndio inanyima nyinyi kazi wizi na mimi namshukuru Rais. Lazima tuseme wazi. Mambo ya watu wakishinda uchaguzi, watu wawili watakimbia na kiti wanaenda. Hiyo ni lazima SR, ni lazima hii mambo ya BBI iangalie. Ni lazima tupagua, tupanue uongozi. Uongozi wa Kenya utakuwa sawa. Ukiketi pale unaona Gavana Ngilu, unaona Kalonzo Msyoka. Unaona Gideon Moi, unaona Raila Amolo Odinga, unaona Mzali Mdavadi kama ni Western, unaona Kalonzo Ndani, unaona Joho kutoka Mombasa, unaona kutoka Central wameleta mtu kama ni Uhuru wameleta iko ndani. Hiyo ndio itakuwa sawa katika Kenya. Na ndio tunasema ni lazima governance ipanuliwe na msiope kusema hiyo kila katiba inatengenezwa na nia yake BBI wanne umefanyika hii leo katika kaunti ya Kitui na kuvutia hadhira kubwa kati ya waliohudhuria hafla hiyo ambao mwenyeji wake alikuwa ni Gavana Chari Tingilu ni pamoja na kiongozi wa ODM Raila Odinga ambaye alikuwa mgeni wa heshima. Raila amesema kuwa madhumuni ya BBI ni kuwaleta wakenya wote pamoja ambao baadhi wametengamana vibaya kwa misingi ya kikabila. Na Kalonzo Musyoka amesema kuwa BBI haitakiwi kutumika kuwatenganisha wa Kenya. Mimi najua mkutano ni wa BBI. Kwa hivyo sitawapa wipe leo. Ama mnatipa tu fanya hivi sio ya wipe ni ya BBI. Kwa sababu chama nasema wipe na BBI. Sasa vijana munipe tu dakika tano. Kwanza mukamba watanaisie 10 na ngwe ni kudhikwa mobizi dhome. Ngoe ni adhala kaande na adhala. Kuone kuitu kati kuitu. Alama kwa zene kuitu kwa kwa yolo. Kwa hivyo, alama kwa zia mukamba kwa tani tendini wa BBI. Na baiku siyo ketina, ukeliai kwa kwa yenge. Kwa hivyo, ndugu Raila, 
Mimi kutoka hapa kwenda nyumbani ni hawa 200 kilometers. Tuna shida. Jana Governor Ngilu, and I want to thank Dr. Wade, your deputy. Wade na mimi ndiyo tumekua tunapigia mutu anayetua Munya. I've really bothered that guy. Because I reminded Munya, kiunjuri alisema mukiona nzige, piga picha. <laughs> the last time ali, alionyesha kwa social media mekalia nzige, anaelekea like it here. Zige wa mevamia eneo hili. This is a national disaster. Wangapa anasema ini national disaster wakati huu. Therefore, whatever needs to be done, Minister Munya liniambia kwamba pesticide ingine likuwe natoka sijui Japan na ingine ingine likuwe natoka Tanzania. Ilu alikuwa napiga, ilikuwa ni kama maji. Atutaki watu wakona bumper harvest, atutaki tena wapatwa na shida Na huku kuna serikali ambaye naweza kuwasaidia. Kwa hivyo kuwe na papambano from now on, we don't want to hear. And even in fact, kuna watu nduniani wako tayari kutuma usaidizi. Story and Zige was even an IGAD issue. Because one of the core mandates of IGAD in the Government Authority on Development was a fight against the certification na aswa mamboya ya Zige. So if you are short of any funding, we are able to mobilize international support. Dio Minister Munya, apatiwe ata ndege ishirini, amalize mamboya nzige. Kitui kumefurika. Kabla siyaendele mbele, niku na hadithi. Nataka mtege sikio vizuri. Sawa. When I arrived in Kitui, I met a young man, and he told me, Raila, there's nothing to laugh about here in Kitui. Things are so gloomy. Then I told him that, you know, Kitui lies between two biggest rivers in Kenya, the Machitana and the Athi, all coming from our mountains and carrying waters to the Indian Ocean, which does not need water. Yet Kitui people are unhappy. They are thirsty. They are hungry, like the people of Kenya. But I told him that Kenya can be great, and we don't have to sit by the banks of Athi and Tana and weep like those who sat on the banks of the rivers of Babylon and wept when they remembered Zion. Kitui hoi! Vijana hoi! Vijana hoi! Gari! Gari ya Moshi! Ambaye naitua BBI! Ilianza safari kwa station naitua Kisi Station. Ikaenda kisimama kwa station ya Kakamega kule ingu. Ikeenda kule Mombasa, bahari ya Hindi. Sasa imefika, le imefika kitui. Gari ya moshi inaendelea. Station ingine itakuwa ni Meru. Kutoka pali itaenda na Rock. Itaenda na Kuru. Itaenda Garisa. Itaenda Nyeri. Itaingia Nairobi. Kama umebaki inje, shauri yako. Gari hii itaenda na ina break. Inaendelea na itafika kuli inaelekea. Inaendelea na zidi kujenga madaraja. 
daraja ya kuunganisha wakenya wote kutoka kwenye mambo ya ukabila kupeleka wakenya kwa umoja kutoka kwenye mambo ya wizi na ufisadi na uhakiki na usawa inaendelea kutoka kwa Kenya kwa ufukara na kupeleka kwa utajiri ukosefu wa kazi kukuwa na wingi wa kazi kwa vijana ubaguzi wa kijinsia na umoja wa kutambulia wa mama hiyo ndio shabaha ya gari la Mose ambayo inaitwa BBI na hii ni kulingana na matakwa ya wanzilishi wa taifa letu Paul Gay alikuwa kule Kapengoria alifungwa JD Kali alifungwa Mwindi wa Mbingu aliwaambia wazungu hapa hii nchi ni yetu ni Marwa au ni wakamba ambao unasikia sio kimau sijaenda kwa wale wengine wakamba wamechangia kikamilifu kwa ukombozi wa nchi hii ya taifa la Kenya wakamba mpaka upate haki yao katika taifa la Kenya ambayo tutataka kujenga hatutaki kuona kama mtoto mkamba amesoma anajua ujuzi akaenda kufanya interview akisema mtua anamwambia ngende ngapo hii utakikani hii tunataka wakamba wao kama wakanya wengine kama wameru kama wakikuyu kama mjikenda kama waturukana kama wasomali kama wakalenjin kama wajaluo kama wakisi kabila zote 44 na tano wa Kenya wao yote wako sawa hiyo ndiyo Kenya tunataka kujenga sisi pamoja mimi ni Kalonzo tumetembea pamoja 2013 na 2017 na tulisema yale tulisema tunataka kufanya nyinyi tulikuwa na nyinyi hapa na tulisema wakipiga wakipiga wakihesabu wakijumlisha wakirusha wakitangaza na wakiiba tulisema wakiiba tuna wa NASA NASA wa NASA wa sasa tukawa NASA kupeleka kule kwa kwa maraga maraga akaangalia akasema hii ni chafu sana akasema turudie alafu sasa tukasema turudie lakini sawazisha kiwanja no ofisiki toa hizo mawe ziwe mashimo toa miba ndio tuingie kwa kiwanja ulipokataa kambi ya kalonzo bwana tuendi hia tuendi sasa tukakaa sasa kuna mwingine anasema oh wengine wale shindwa hawajakubali kushindwa ulikimbia peke yako ulishinda nani yule mchawi ambaye anakimbia usiku piti 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 anashinda nani kuna mtu anashinda ndio sababu tukaona ai imekuwa mbaya baya kama mbaya ni nini nikasema tuende uhuru park wakienda kasarani tunaenda wapi simuona sisi uhuru park simuona sisi silikuwa mbaya alafu ni baadaye uhuru akasema tuongee nikamwambia tukiongea tuongee juu ya mambo ambayo yameenda mbaya ili tuweze kurekebisha ili tuweze kurekebisha tuunganishe wa Kenya. Tusirudi tena kwa uchaguzi na mambo yanaenda vile ilienda malivile ngine. 
Na basi mpenzi mtazamaji ndio hotuba yake huyo kinara wa ODM Raila Odinga na amedokeza kwamba BBI ni daraja la kuunganisha wa Kenya na kuwatoa kufokara pamoja na ubaguzi wa kijinsia. Na vile vile pia ameipamba hotuba yake na kibao no one can stop reggae. Hai, tukisonga mbele basi mpenzi mtazamaji ni kwamba speaker wa kaunti ya Nairobi Beatrice Lachi alisoma mazimio na matakwa ya wanawake na kuwasilisha kwa Raila Odinga huku swala la ubaguzi wa wanawake katika nyanja tofauti ikiangaziwa. Two thirds gender rule, full implementation of not more than two thirds gender rule as a foundation towards the realization of the 50-50 gender principle. The opposite gender rule strongly recommended the adoption and application of the opposite gender rule to all organs of the national and county levels of government. Divisive elections, mixed member proportional representation through party lists is good and progressive in the quest of gender equality. In the issue of health, we recommend a commission for the health so that we deal with the issue of the human resource in the health docket and also the declaration of 15% of the Abuja declaration. In the issue of food security, the implementation of food safety and security standards must be reinforced to enact of the Food and Nutrition Security Bill. Water, adequate and palatable water and proper sanitation for food housing, education, and social security. Lastly, as women, we support devolution, and we say that 45% of the money should come to the counties. In corruption, as women, we say, any leader with corruption cases should not be given an opportunity to lead this country. And we support Honorable Governor her Excellency Charity Ngilu, who has stood with us. Asante ni san. Tukia chana na hayo ya BBI ni kwamba mali yenye thamani ya mamilioni ya pesa imeteketea kufuatia moto uliozuka mapema leo na kuteketeza vibanda katika soko la Gikomba hapa Nairobi ingawa chanzo cha moto huo hakijabainika wafanyabiashara walioathirika wanadai mikasa ya moto ya mara kwa mara katika soko la Gikomba husababishwa na uhasama na ushindani wa biashara Inakadiriwa kwamba vibanda na vyumba vya biashara visivyopungua 500 viliteketea na kuishia uharibifu wa mali yenye thamani ya mamilioni ya fedha kwenye mkasa wa moto wa Jumamosi alfajiri katika soko la Gikomba. We able to contain the fire uh, in phases just to make sure that the fire doesn't spread to other stalls. Then uh, I also want to urge the uh, Juakali artisans of this area that it is important wherever we are working we make sure that we have access because access has been a major challenge in uh, this operation today ingawa hapaja tolewa maelezo yote ya moja kwa moja kuhusu chanzo cha moto huo wafanyi biashara walioathirika wamedai kwamba chuki ushindani wa biashara na njama za kunya kwa ardhi ndivyo vyanzo nao viongozi wa kaunti ya Nairobi wakiongozwa na seneta Johnson Sakaja wakitaka uchunguzi ufanywe kuna maadui wanakuaga wengi sana hebi unaona kuna watu sasa wanaanza biashara hii kazi yako sasa anaona inaendelea sasa watu nasikia watu na sometimes unachomeka kwa mwaka unaweza ona tumechomekewa karibu mara tatu ine. sasa tunaonaga ni kama kuna group huwa ina tumo inakuja ina choma hapa must investigate and get to the root of, of, of why it, it keeps happening uh, i think last year ilikuwa tare moja mwezi wa 4 leo zan tare moja mwezi wa pili mikasa ya moto katika soko la Gikomba imekuwa ikishuhudiwa mara kwa mara na licha ya hasara na uharibifu mkubwa wafanyi biashara wanasema kamwe hawataondoka lazima tufanye kazi ji watoto wakure wasome na maisha yaendelee tumewaita uh, wafanyabiashara wenyewe waji uh, wajieleze wajitambulishe ili tujue wame, wamepoteza kitu gani na jinsi tunavyoweza kuwasaidia ili waanze tena uh, biashara zao na waendelee na kazi zao za kila siku 
Matarajio ya waathiriwa na viongozi ni kwamba uchunguzi utafanyika ili kubaini kiini cha moto kwa kusudi la kuwashtaki wote watakaotiwa hatiani.